نواقد الإسلام The Nullifiers of Islam by Muhammad ibn Abd al-Wahhab رحمه الله In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. You must know that the matters which invalidate a person's Islam are ten. First, shirk, ascribing partners in the worship of Allah the Most High. Allah the Most High said, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء Indeed, Allah does not forgive that partners are ascribed to him. However, he forgives anything other than that for whoever he wills. The Most High said, إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةَ وَمَأْوَاهُ النَّارُ وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَارُ Verily, whoever sets up partners with Allah in worship, then Allah has made paradise forbidden for him, and the fire will be his abode. There will be no helpers for the oppressors. Included in this is slaughtering for other than Allah, such as a person sacrificing for a jinn or towards a grave. Second, whoever sets up intermediaries between himself and Allah, supplicating to them, requesting intercession from them, and having tawakkul upon them, such a person has disbelieved by the agreement of the scholars. Third, a person who does not consider the mushrikun, polytheists, to be disbelievers, doubts their disbelief or considers their ideology to be correct, such a person has disbelieved. Fourth, whoever believes that the guidance of somebody other than the Prophet ﷺ is more perfect than the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ, or the laws of other than the Prophet ﷺ are better than the laws of the Prophet ﷺ, like a person who prefers the laws of the Tawagheet, false deities, such a person has disbelieved. Fifth, if a person hates anything which the Messenger وسلم, came with, even if he performs the action, such a person has disbelieved. Sixth, a person who makes a mockery of anything from the religion of the Prophet وسلم, its rewards or punishments, such a person has disbelieved. The evidence for this is the saying of Allah قُلْ أَبِ اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَهْزِئُونَ لَا تَعْتَذِرُوا قَدْ كَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدَ إِيمَانِكُمْ Say, was it at Allah, His signs, His Messenger وسلم, that you used to make a mockery of, do not make any excuse. Indeed, you have disbelieved after your Iman. Seventh, magic. This includes turning a person away from something he loves or swaying a person to love something through magic. So, whoever does this or is pleased with it being done has disbelieved. Allah says, وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ حَتَّى يَقُولَا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٌ فَلَا تَكْفُرْ They would not teach this to anybody except saying, We're only a trial, so do not disbelieve. Eighth, supporting and helping the mushrikun, polytheists, over the Muslims. The evidence is a saying of Allah, وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ Whoever wholeheartedly supports them and takes them as friends is surely from amongst them. Verily Allah does not guide the oppressive people. Ninth. Whoever believes it is permissible for some people to be outside the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, just as it was permissible for Khidr to be outside the Sharia of Musa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such a person has disbelieved. Tenth, 
completely turning away from the religion of Allah by not learning it, nor acting by it. The evidence is a saying of Allah, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ ذُكِّرَ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِ ثُمَّ أَعْرَضَ عَنْهَا إِنَّا مِنَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُنْتَقِمُونَ who is more oppressive than the one when the verses of his Lord are mentioned completely turns away from them? Indeed, we will exact retribution from the criminals, disbelievers. There is no difference in all of these matters which invalidate a person's Islam, whether a person is doing them in jest, with intent, or out of fear except a person is compelled to do them. All these matters are the most dangerous and yet most common of what takes place. So it is befitting that a Muslim takes caution and fears for himself regarding them. We seek refuge in Allah from anything that causes his anger and his painful punishment. May Allah send salutations upon the best of his creation, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his family and companions, and grant them peace.